In this lecture, we will discuss WordPress posts. Post is one of the fundamental concepts in WordPress. WordPress has many different content types, post is one of them. If you are using WordPress as a blog, you will use post content type to create your blog posts. We will see how to create a post. Where does it appear on the site? How does a single post look? And how to change its URL? The posts menu is on the left with the pin icon. To see all posts of the site, you have to go to all posts. To create a post you have to click the add new link. I will go to the all posts to see what we have there. Here we have three posts. This post listing page shows posts by title, its author, publish date and some other information. Let's visit the front page of the site. And I go to the front site by removing wp-admin from URL. In the front page, we see site title and menu, then welcome text with hero image, and then those three blog posts side by side under the heading, latest from blog. For each post we see its title, some content from the post, and its published date. Latest three blog post appearing in this way, because how it is designed in the WordPress theme for the front page. Now I will create a post and see how it appears. To create a post click the add new button. This is the screen to create a new post. You can give your post title in the add title input field. Let me give this post a title, my post title. The next input field you see is for adding your content. And you can add text here, or other types of content like images, or heading, or quotes etc. I will stick to text for now. Let me open up the lorem ipsum generator, so I can add a large chunk of texts through copy and paste. This lorem ipsum generator is quite handy to make a demo site, you can copy a large chunk of texts from here, and you will know how your site will look with this much text. I paste the texts here, and enter. Now copy another chunk of texts, and paste here. I will preview this from this preview link, and I can preview it in different devices. Let's preview this on the desktop in a new tab. So this is how it looks. We see here the given post title, then the two paragraphs. This design is from the WordPress theme. Every WordPress theme has a specific design or template for post, and we see the design from our current theme. If I change the theme, this post design will change to that theme's post design or template. Other than that we see the common footer for the site. Here is a gear icon to toggle the settings. Settings can be in two levels, post level, or block level. Post level means the settings applicable to this entire post. Block level means the settings applicable only to the text block we have added here. One interesting setting in post level is this permalink. This is generated based on the post title for the first time. If you want to change the slug, or want a slug which is not generated using the post title, you can change here. I am changing this to show how it works. I will keep other settings as it is and publish this post. Let's see where this post appears. We see that post is the first one of these three posts. We only see part of the post here. Click on the post title and it will take us to the single post view page. In the details page or single post page, we can see all the things we entered for this post. Notice the last part of the URL here. It is the same as we set in the permalink. A special note to those who will be using free WordPress.com site for following this course. You may see a launch button in add new post screen. This launch button is there to make your site public easily. You will see as usual the publish button and the preview button by its side Nothing to worry about the launch button if you get it. Now you know how to create a post. At this stage create some posts and see how it looks on your site. After that, proceed to the next lecture.